I'm the current chair of the Indian Ocean Memorandum of Understanding on Port State Control. As articulated in my speech yesterday, the IMOU has, was cele is cele now celebrating 20 years of existence. We have grown over the years from six member states in the beginning to the current 20. We are expecting our 21st member to be coming in soon, who is the uh, Qatar, state of Qatar. Uh, the main objective and goal of the Indian Ocean Memorandum of Understanding is actually to read, get rid of substandard shipping in our region. The Indian Ocean Rim, we have other MOUs that take care of the other regions, like the Tokyo MOU, the Paris MOU, Caribbean MOU and Riyadh MOU and so many others in other regions. When we do, to get rid of substandard ships, we ensure that member states of our countries have national legislations that are referred to the conventions that have been uh, developed by member states of the International Maritime Organization. When we have put the laws into our national laws, the conventions into our national laws were able to implement. So we basically deal with the main mandatory instruments. Most of the ones that deal with safety, security, marine environment protection, and the standards for training, certification, watchkeeping, uh, STCW convention. For the members now, what we have uh, done, we try as much as possible to build capacity in our region for port state control officers who undertake surveys and inspection of ships, basically international ships that call our ports as called coastal states and our flags ships registered in our flag in the region. Most, most of the what we do, we collaborate with other MOU, equivalent MOUs in the region to collaborate and ensure that we harmonize the procedures that we have. The IMOU is uh, run by a secretariat which is based in India. Members are basically from the Indian Ocean region, from Australia, Reunion, the islands in, in the Indian Ocean Rim, India, Bangladesh, so to mention a few. You actually currently have as many as 20 members, is that correct? That is true. We have 20 members. I uh, will not be able to mention them now, but we have 20 members from the Indian Ocean region. And since the establishment uh, of this organization under the Memorandum of Understanding. Um, what have been the major achievements? The major achievements for the region, basically for the region, has been we have tried as much as possible to ensure that we don't have vessels calling substandard vessels calling our ports because now we have procedures we have reporting procedures that go to every member state where the ship is calling we detain ships that have uh, deficiencies that may cause uh, may be harmful may cause uh, uh, accidents uh, endanger safety the safety of the ship safety of the cargo and safety of the people that operate in the ship uh, in in that uh, in that sense, then we we actually ensure safety of what we have in the region. Security also is very important. So we we know with the certifications that we get, we ensure that we have the right people manning the ship, as required in the in the STCW regulations that are undertaken by implementation that is undertaken by member states. And naturally with that, because uh, as countries, you have to establish a relationship. 
and in so doing, you strengthen the um, regional relationship among the countries that are involved. Mostly, we we have this is a technical committee. The technical committee is actually drawn from the member states of the International Maritime Organization. The member states in the IMO actually uh, sit to discuss the convention. We make regulations as member states. We put those member, uh, laws into our national legislation for ease of implementation. That is why we, we actually harmonize with other, collaborate with other member states to harmonize the laws for implementation. So, so there is uniformity in yes. terms of application of yes. all these instruments. Yes, yes, yes. Um, what have been the challenges? The it's main challenge for the region, while well, we have other MOUs like the Tokyo MOU, Paris MOU, that have uh, well-trained inspectors, they are more technical people, the challenge we have in the region is capacity. We have, uh, because of the training programs that we have in place, most of our people cannot afford, most of our administrations and governments cannot afford to train enough people. The period for training takes too long. Uh, and so the, in the budgets you see that uh, governments usually don't give priority to capacity building for port state control. Uh, we have we collaborate with other organizations uh, to train to uh, train our our port state control officers to undertake the port state control activity effectively. And now you are, as an organization, on your twentieth year, um, and you've picked on South Africa um, to celebrate that. Um, is there any particular reason for this? The first meeting of the MOU was done. South Africa was very was very good at the beginning in hosting these meetings. The first meeting that we held was held in South Africa. Every member state, every time we feel anybody wants to host the meeting, most of the technical committee meetings want to come to South Africa because of the history that we have had. Of course, you have a lot of other ports. So we also want to come and copy the example that we, you have and the progress made in uh, the maritime sector. But lastly, I would like to encourage the government of South Africa to endeavor to train the port state control officers to under effectively undertake post port state control activities in the region. We also request that uh, South Africa can actually support, because we know South Africa has more experience than other member states in the region, in terms of uh, undertaking trainings, uh, group trainings, uh, for our other uh, member states who are not able to, to conduct the trainings on their behalf. In that sense, then we'll be able to harmonize the, the training and the activities in the region. Thank you. That's wonderful. Well. Thank you very much. I think we've covered pretty much everything that we hoped to uh, chat about this afternoon. Thank you very much.